Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center. We're a couple of months ago now, we did the piece on the Dow or the Direct Edition lens. We called that part one. If you haven't watched that, you need to go back and watch that before you watch this one. A month or so after that, we did part two, which was test drive number one. And this is test drive number two. Now I'm gonna be repeating this multiple times through this presentation. You really need to watch part one about how this lens is designed, the concept behind it, in order to understand what I'm even talking about here. We did have a part two that was test drive number one. They had sent me an original prototype of the lenses. I made a pair of glasses. I didn't like them. Uh, they, we went back and forth a couple of times. They sent me another set. I made another set and that really didn't go all that well either. Needless to say, Quest, the folks behind the direct edition lens, weren't thrilled with my findings. We worked together closely and I had made some mistakes and they had made some mistakes and now they got me a pair that works pretty darned good. Now, why did those mistakes happen? Well, remember that we've had 30 years of learning to fit a progressive lens, and most of us get that right about 95% of the time, or wrong 5% of the time after 30 years. Um, you know, the Dell is a brand new thing. It's gonna take a while to sort out all the subtle nuances of fitting them repeatedly and accurately. I had 30 minutes instead of 30 years, so, it all worked out, but there are some issues that they are dealing with about trying to create a better fitting guide for you. I'm gonna do a preemptive strike here before the comments start flying around YouTube. No, it is not like whatever other lens that you may have seen out there, unless it is, they are sold to a couple, a handful of other companies under other brand names, but really rare. So it's probably not like the, or the, or the other thing either. And Quest wanted to make sure that I pointed out that this is not a freeform blended round seg. And I think in a way that kind of makes sense. Um, you know, their patent is in 2015. Freeform has been around 15 years or more. Blended round segs were being made in glass 75 years ago, I think. I don't think the patent office was going to hand them out a new patent in 2015 for that kind of design. So after part two, we're at part three. I've got a set of dowels that I actually wore and like. What would I say about those lenses? I would call them the WYSIWYG lens. What you see is what you get. I would say that they do what they claim to do. Take a look at the map. Now look at the lens, and I know that's really hard to see, but if you look and see the pattern of the optics in the actual lenses, look at how close those are. Pretty good. And honestly, just plain wearing them shows that, well, kind of does what it claims to do. Remembering from part one that these are deliberately a bifocal design, distance near. They do that with no jump and no line. It is a zoom in, zoom out perception when your eye drops from the select individual distance to the select individual near portions. Does that without a corridor because of course it is deliberately not a progressive lens. And the lens does offer nice wide fields of usable vision. Again, look at that map. Look at the optics of that lens in that frame. You can pretty much see it. With that said, look at the map one more time and look in my red ovals there. Okay, there is still the optical swamp and the land of optical garbage, even in this design. Yes, they are greatly reduced. They are pushed way out into the periphery where your eye rarely goes, but they are still present. A whole lot less than a progressive because it's not a progressive, so that's not a surprise. But yeah, they, they are still there. There is no such thing as the perfect lens. Hey, John, would you switch today? 
No, I still wouldn't. All right. Um, why is that? Honestly, I'm old. That's that's the biggest thing. I've been wearing a line straight top 28 for 20 some years. I rarely wear my glasses at all. I get through the day without them. I need an intermediate pair for the computer, which actually is closer to a near pair or a weak near pair. Um, so, I, you know, I just don't have a reason to switch. But would I sell this to a new Presbyope if I was still working retail? Heck yes, I would. With the understanding that they are coming up with a much better guide on how to fit it to avoid the pitfalls of having to remake them twice. And assuming that I had the conversation that I should be having with every customer about every pair of glasses, is this the appropriate lens for them at this time? Now, for you newbies out there, most of you watching this, I would imagine, watch part one, because you should be always asking yourself the question that maybe progressives are not the answer to everything. And it's possible, maybe, that they're even creating issues for those new presbyopes. We are calling it premature loss of accommodation. And if you have more questions about that, just go watch part one. Now, newbies, you may not have a choice because the inventories of lined style, straight top lined multifocals is getting less and less each year. And you're a newbie, so in your head you're saying, well, of course they are. Lined style multifocals are old and stupid and why wouldn't you just put them in a progressive? Well, watch part one, okay, and the answers are there. There is a great reduction in cost of production. A lined multifocal and a DAL are about the same cost of production, or the DAL's even a little less. The lab saves money, you save money. And it greatly reduces the required inventory of stocking all those lined styles and all the possible ad powers and materials and add-ons because a DAL can be run on any single vision blank that's the appropriate base curve in any material with all of your usual lens add-ons and all that good stuff. And there I am wearing my DAL lenses. Again, keeping in mind these are a bifocal design. While sitting on my back deck, I have great distance vision across the entire top of the lens. When I look down to read my tablet, I have a nice comfortable reading area, all without a line, jump, or distortion. And I get all of that really with just eye movement alone. Post a presentation disclaimer, just as I mentioned in parts one and parts two, that Laramie K has no vested interest in the Dow lens design. In other words, I'm not trying to sell you something here. It's just a new, unique lens design that we feel that you need to know about. If you are catching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, watching us on Facebook, give us a like, and make sure that every Dow lens in your optical life after you learned how to fit it properly and had that conversation with your customer, comes from Laramie K. I'll see you again next week. Direct edition or direct...